So it's been a few weeks since I, I put out a video. Made a little trip, so we're gonna talk about it. First thing I wanna say is, yeah, it's been a few weeks since I made a video, and uh, I gotta be honest, I, um, <laughs> I was taking a little bit of a break, and uh, I enjoyed my break a little bit. Um, but now that I'm back, Obviously, uh, I'm excited to get uh, get some videos going and kind of use it as a refresher type of type of thing for me. So while I was absent, uh, uh, my wife and I we uh, made a trip out to L.A. We went out to California and uh, we went to Universal Hollywood. Yeah, because uh, Universal Orlando is. Uh, there's not enough anymore, apparently. <laughs> so we so we flew out to LA and uh, yeah, it was a good time. Uh, the main reason we went out there was because of uh, the Super Nintendo World. Um, I don't know why it's framed as Super Nintendo World. What it should be is Super Mario World or something more Mario themed because it's that's all it was, was Mario themed everything, which was awesome. Awesome, amazing. If you get the chance to go out to LA do it. Go to Universal Hollywood and uh, check out Super Nintendo World. I mean, it's going to be awesome. Now, in a few years, uh, I think in 2025, Epic Universe is going to open up in Orlando, which is going to be another park from Universal. And uh, there will be um, a universe. Um, there's going to be a Super Nintendo World in Epic Universe when that opens. And it's actually going to be a little bit bigger than uh, the one in Hollywood. Uh, there's going to be more rides and things like that. But I will say, I will say, speaking of rides, the Mario Kart ride in in, in, in Hollywood, uh, I fell in love with the thing. I mean, there's still some glitches here and there, but man, that ride, I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, you really feel like you're in Mario Kart in the game. And uh, they did a really good job with that. They need to work out some kinks uh, still, but... Overall, man, it's 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 an awesome ride. So, yeah, I became a season pass or annual pass holder uh, at Hollywood as well. So now I'm a two-time <laughs> Universal Orlando and Universal Hollywood annual pass holder. So that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Now, while we were in Hollywood, we took some time away from Universal, the park, and uh, we went to Hollywood Boulevard. And on Hollywood Boulevard, that's where, you know, you see the, the stars with all the, 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 the famous actors and actresses and everybody's uh, name on the, on, the, well, on, on the sidewalk. And uh, I got to be honest, it's not the most appealing place to go, if I'm being truthful about it. <laughs> uh, I'll just leave it at that. Um, but on Hollywood Boulevard, the main reason we went there was because there's a Funko Pop store. And, uh, yeah, I was able to pick up, uh, a few things there. Uh, I, I picked up a Darth Vader bobblehead. I didn't know it was a bobblehead Funko Pop, um, until I opened it. But he's a bobblehead, but he makes the noise and his lightsaber lights up. So that was pretty cool. Plus I like the packaging. It was a black packaging um, so that was pretty cool. And you can also get your own personalized Funko Pop made of yourself. So that's what I did. I got me, I got me a one of one Funko Pop made. And, uh, you know, I'm holding in my right hand, a comic book and the other hand is holding, I'm holding my cell phone. So that was fun. That was fun. Definitely worth it. Um, but the main thing that I'm excited for this video or the purpose of this video is to show this off. It's uh, a Deadpool uh, mystery box. So I have no idea what's in here. Absolutely none. I, and I've actually been waiting for about a week, almost near, well, just under a week to open this. Um, yeah. So the, the lady at Funko at the Funko Pop store said that they can't keep these in. There was actually three of these 
um, when when I when I picked this up, and she said that they can't keep these in the store, and apparently they're hard to find online as well. So I, I, I apparently supposedly, so yeah, I'm like, well, if I had the extra money, I would have loved to take take home all three boxes, but one is enough. They're like thirty bucks each. So yeah, without further ado, I'm excited. Let's get this thing opened because I've been anticipating this for about a week. All right, so as you can see, my Deadpool box is in place. <laughs> so I'm going to get this thing cracked open. So I hope this is at a good angle. And uh, we shall see. So I got my handy dandy knife. So I'm going to be at a little bit of an angle. So I hope this uh, I hope this is gonna work good for you guys. So let's do this right here, right along at the top. Hopefully that's all I need. Yeah, that works. And it'll probably give my get my cat all excited. Uh, she'll want to play with the plastic here in a second, probably. So I don't think I'm gonna need that again. So, all right. Try to shake it like a, like you know how when you're like a kid, like you're ten years old and you're excited on Christmas morning, and you go shaking the presents under the tree before you know your parents wake up or whatever. At least that's what I did. Me and my sister. All right. So my favorite character, Deadpool. Let's see what's in this mystery box. Oh, oh there is a Funko in here. Oh man. Look at that. That's going to be perfect because uh, I have a thing about putting pins on my lanyard when I go to uh, Universal. That's awesome. Nice. I'm excited about that. What is this? Ha! Speak of a lanyard. It's a lanyard. With a... It's like a rubber... Like the Deadpool is actually like rubber. Like a, like a clip. Like hanging on... That's... I swear, speaking of lanyards, man, I spoke it into existence. You know, it's, it's Deadpool. Oh, that's too cool. I'm, I'm excited about that. The pencil. Got it. Is that a pencil? Yeah, or a pen. It looks like a pencil. It looks like a... Ah, that's awesome. Either way, I love it. And then... Special edition. What is that? A keychain. Oh, that is too cool. That is too cool. Artist Deadpool. And he's got like the little paint, little, little paint thing in his hand. And oh, that's too cool. I don't know how well you can see that. Ha! I love it. I love it. And then the Funko, the grand prize, if I can get it out of here. Special edition Lazy River Deadpool. Yeah, I don't know how well. That's what? Ha! <laughs> I love the little sunscreen on his nose and stuff. Lazy River Deadpool. That is too cool. And I guess it's part of this collection right here. But he's not on there. Yeah, the Lazy River Deadpool is not. Usually, usually when you buy a, a Funko... They show the collection that they're part of, but he the, the the one that's in the box is actually showing on here too, but I don't see it on here. That is pretty cool. Oh man, I'm excited about that. <laughs> that's gonna go that's definitely gonna go on my shelf. My Funko shelf. But man, Deadpool, Lazy River Deadpool. Oh, it's a bobblehead? Ah, oh, get out of here. Come on. <laughs> oh man. It's the little things, guys. It's the little things, all right? So, Lazy River Bobblehead, Lazy River Deadpool Bobblehead Special Edition. So that means for me, I'm not taking this out the box. It's just going to stay in the box because, yeah, that's what I do. So, not a bad, not a bad little, uh, not a bad little box right here. Yeah, I thought that was ironic that I had spoken this lanyard into existence. But man, 
This is a cool little box, man. I'm so happy about this. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you guys like the unboxing of this Deadpool bucket list uh, mystery box. Uh, it says it right there on the bottom. Uh, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think of this mystery box. Because I'm curious to know now. You spend a lot of money on comics? I do. Make sure you read them because they're not going to read themselves. Ha, ha, ha.